percent maintained that personality develops in a predetermined order through eight stages of psychosocial development from infancy to childhood. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Hello students, how are you today? It is nice to see you again in this channel, Kuliah Teknokrat To learn more about our subject, Child Development With me, Ms. Dia Aminatun And today, we are going to discuss about one interesting topic in child development It is about psychosocial development but before I start explaining the materials, let me tell you first the objectives of today's meeting. So in the end of today's meeting, the students are expected to be able to the first, explain the theory of psychosocial development by Eric Erikson, and then the second, mention and also differentiate the stages of psychosocial development and last one, explain about the important events in every stage and its outcome for an individual's life. Now, let's start the topic with the definitions of psychosocial development theory. Talking about the terms of psychosocial, so it cannot be separated with the terms of psychology and also social. Therefore, psychosocial development will be related to the interrelations of social factors and individual thought and behavior. Psychologist who is best known for his famous theory of psychosocial development is Eric Erikson. And this theory marks an important shift in thinking on personality instead of focusing simply on early childhood events. His psychosocial theory looks at how social influences uh, contribute to our personality throughout our entire lifespans. Erikson maintained that personality develops in a predetermined order through eight stages of psychosocial development from infancy to childhood. During each stage, the person experiences a psychological or psychosocial crisis which could have a positive and also negative outcome for personality development. Erikson maintained that personality develops in a predetermined order through eight stages of psychosocial development from infancy to adulthood. And during each stage, uh, the person experiences a psychosocial crisis which could have a positive and also negative outcome for personality development. For Erikson, this crisis of psychosocial nature because they involved psychological needs of the individual, that is psycho, conflicting with the needs of society, that is social. According to this theory, successful completions of each stage will result in a healthy personality and the acquisitions of basic virtues or strengths. Basic virtues uh, are the characteristic strengths which the ego can use to resolve subsequent crises or simply it is an outcome. While if the stage is managed poorly or unsuccessful, the person will emerge with a sense of inadequacy in the aspect of development. Well, we are talking about stage and stage. So what are actually those stages? All right, in this development, Erikson has proposed, as I've already told you before, there are eight stages of psychosocial. So what are they? Let's check them out. So as you can see here, there are eight stages in each lifespan. It is starting from the infancy. The first stage is called 
trust versus mistrust. And then the second is in early childhood, it is about autonomy versus shame and doubt. The next, in preschool age, the stage is called as initiative versus guilt. And the fourth stage is in the school age, it is called as industry versus invariability. The next stage in adolescence, it is about the identity versus role confusion. The next stage in young adulthood, about intimacy versus isolations. The seventh is in the middle adulthood, it is about generativity versus stagnations. And the last stage or the eighth one is in the maturity, it's talking about the ego integrity versus despair. So those are the eight stages of psychosocial development proposed by Eric Erickson. Still confused about this? Okay, well, do not worry. I'll give you more explanations after this. Okay, now let's talk about these stages one by one. The first stage is called trust versus mistrust. Trust versus mistrust is the first stage in Eric Erickson's theory of psychosocial development. This stage begins at birth and continues to approximately about 18 months of age. During this stage, infant or a baby is uncertain about the world in which they live and look towards their primary caregiver for stability and consistency of care. If the care the infant received is consistent, predictable, and reliable, they will develop a sense of trust, which will carry with them to other relationships, and they will be able to feel secure when threatened. However, if these needs are not consistently met, mistrust may appear and develop. If the care has been is consistent, unpredictable, and also unreliable, then the infant may develop a sense of mistrust, suspicion, and also anxiety. In these situations, the infant will not have confidence in the world around them or in their abilities to influence the events. Success in this stage will lead to the virtue of hope. By developing a sense of trust, the infant uh, can have hope um, that as new crises arise, there is a real possibility that other people will be there as a source of support. The second stage is about autonomy versus shame. So the second stage of Eric Erickson's theory of psychosocial development takes place during early childhood and is focused on children developing a greater sense of personal control over physical skills and a sense of independence. During this stage, uh, in the age of two or three years old, potty training or toilet training plays an important role in helping children develop this sense of independence or autonomy. Children who struggle and who are shamed for their accidents may be left without the sense of personal control. And then success during this stage of psychosocial development will lead to feelings of autonomy. Failure, while failure, results in feeling of shame and also doubt. Erickson believed that achieving a balance between autonomy and also shame and doubt here would lead to will, which is the belief that children can act with intention, within reason, and also limits. The third stage proposed by Eric Erickson in psychosocial development takes place during the preschool years. It is about initiative versus guilt. At this point in psychosocial development, children begin to assert their power and control over the world through directing play and other social interaction. 
children who are successful at this uh, stage feel capable and also able to lead others. Those who fail to acquire these skills are left with a sense of guilt and also self-doubt and lack of initiative. The major theme of the third stage here of psychosocial development is that children need to be gained asserting control and also power over the environment. Success in this stage will lead to a sense of purpose. Children who try to use too much power experience disapproval and it will result in a sense of guilt. When an ideal balance of individual initiative and also a willingness to work with others is achieved, the ego quality known as the purpose emerges here. And the next stage in uh, psychosocial development is called industry versus inferiority. So the fourth psychosocial stage takes place during the early school years from approximately ages 5 to 11 years old. Uh, it is about industry and inferiority. Through social interactions, children begin to develop a sense of pride in their accomplishment and also abilities. Children need to cope with new social academic demands. Success leads to a sense of competence while failure will result in a feeling of inferiority. Children who are encouraged and commanded by parents and teachers develop a feeling of competence and belief in their skill. And those who receive like little or no encouragement from parents, teachers, and also peers will doubt in their abilities to be successful. So it will be dangerous for the children. Successfully finding the balance at this stage of psychosocial development will lead to the strength known as competence, in which children developed a belief in their abilities to handle the task set before them. And then the stage number five is called identity versus role confusion. But first of all, what is actually identity? When psychologists talk about identity, they are referring to all of the beliefs, ideals, and also values that help shape and guide a person's behavior. In adolescence, in the ages around 12 until 18, children face the task of identity versus role confusion. According to Erickson's, an adolescent's uh, main task is developing a sense of self. Adolescents struggle with questions such as, who am I? And what do I want to do with my life? Along the way, most adolescents try on many different selves to see which one fit them. They explore various roles and also ideas, setting the goals and attempting to discover their adult selves. During adolescence, children explore their independence and also develop a sense of self. Those who receive uh, proper encouragement and also reinforcement through personal exploration will emerge from this stage with a strong sense of feelings and also self of independence and also control. Those who remain unsure of their beliefs and desires will feel insecure and also confused about themselves and the future, or we can call it as identity crisis. The next stage, or number six, is called intimacy versus isolation. People in early adulthood, like 20s through early 40s, are concerned with intimacy and isolation. After we have developed a sense of self in adolescence, we are ready to share our life with others, right? However, if other stages have not been successfully resolved, young adults may have trouble developing and also maintaining successful relationships with others. 
Edison said that we must have a strong sense of self before we can develop successful intimate relationships with other people. Adults who do not develop positive uh, self-concept in adolescence may experience the feelings of loneliness and also emotional isolation. The next is about generativity versus technicians. So generativity versus technicians here is the seventh of eight stages of Eric Erikson's theory of psychosocial development. This stage takes place during middle adulthood, around 40 to 65 years old. Um, psychologically, generativity here refers to marking our mark on the world through creating or nurturing things that will outlast to individual. Adults need to create it, for example, by having children or by creating a positive change that benefits other people. During adulthood, we continue to build our lives, focusing on our career and also our family. And those who are successful during this phase will feel that they are contributing to the world by being active in their uh, home and also community. And those who fail to attain this skill will feel unproductive and uh, uninvolved to the world. But the point is uh, being uh, successful in this stage is by creating a positive changing and bring benefit to our environment and also to other people. And then in this stage, care is the virtue achieved when this stage is handled successfully. Being proud of your accomplishments, watching your children grow into adults, and developing a sense of unity with your life partner are important accomplishments of this stage. And the next is about integrity versus despair. So the final psychosocial stage occurs during old age and is focused on reflecting back on life. At this point in development, people look back on the events of their lives and determine if they are happy with the life that they lived or they regret with the things they did or they didn't do. Erickson's theory differed from many others' theory because it addressed development throughout the entire lifespan, including old age. He said that people in late adulthood will reflect on their lives and feel uh, either a sense of satisfaction or a sense of failure. People who feel proud of their accomplishments feel a sense of integrity and they can look back on their lives with few regrets. However, people who are not successful at this stage may feel as if their life has been wasted. Those who feel proud of their accomplishment will feel a sense of integrity. And successfully completing this phase means looking back with the few regrets and a general feeling of satisfaction. These individuals will attain wisdom even when confronting death. All right, so those are eight steps and also stages of psychosocial development proposed by Eric Erikson. It is so interesting, right? Well, at the end, uh, let me sum up for you first about psychosocial development theory. So psychosocial development, according to Eric Erikson, is actually the development which involved psychological needs of the individual, which is uh, psycho, and it conflicts with the needs of society or social. So it, be, uh, it can be psychosocial. And then, as you can see on the table here, there are eight steps or eight stages in this development which brings the psychological crisis or conflict happened in every life phase. In every phase of life, there are also some important events that will result to the outcome of every individual, such as hope, and then will, 
purpose, confidence, fidelity, love, care, and also wisdom. All right, so that's the end of our materials today. What do you think about this theory? Do you agree or disagree with Eric Erikson's theory? Please share your thought by writing on the comment sections down below. Well, thank you so much for joining this meeting. See you on the next one. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and goodbye. Terima kasih sudah menyaksikan video pembelajaran ini. Jangan lupa like, komen dan subscribe serta nyalakan tanda loncengnya agar kalian tidak ketinggalan informasi update lainnya.